Our initiative is called Power by Youth Voice. It's a partnership between Every Hour Counts and Youth Prize, generously supported by the Mott Foundation in order to lift up and elevate youth voices in communities around the country to reimagine the future of after school. Not everybody gets like the same um, opportunity. It's incredibly important to make sure that we're centering youth voice and youth engagement when we're talking about reimagining after school. Gatherings like this are important because it allows us to create ideas and it provides a space for young people to work alongside adults who are leading in the after school space and other spaces and to feel a shared sense of power in the decisions that are being made for after school now and in the future. We're bringing together an intergenerational group of leaders, adults and youth, to really reimagine the future of after school. I'm here to tell you the story of the Bean Stones. All right, the Bean Stones. Youth centered activities should also be empowered by youth minds and also bringing ideas from younger generations on how to improve these programs because we're the ones who are most affected by it. Peer relationships to create spaces of belonging and inclusion for all. We're really hearing authentically and meaningfully from young people who've been working for almost a year to develop ideas to transform after school in their communities and that we can take nationwide in cities around the country. And we could also provide the youth with opportunities they don't know. I think it's important for adults to approach the conversations with young people differently by really stepping back and actively listening. We have to change how we show up for young people. Again, getting out of the way giving them space, not just voice, but agency. Especially, I think, at our center, there are a ton We of keep looking for resources, a book, a website that'll tell us, this is how you do youth voice and youth engagement. That's not where we're going to get the information. We get this information by bringing youth together and asking them the question, what do you need? And I brought this painting today because um, I feel like it represents our after school, which is called Milagro Center. What gives me hope about what I've heard at this meeting so far is that young people really feel empowered to showcase their voices and to share their ideas with various stakeholders in the after school field. We heard the ideas from young people and they were mind blowing. As adults, yes, we can bring some wisdom and we can walk in front of them, but they really do need to take this on their own. Our first challenge is social emotional learning. According to the Mental Health in America, 15.8% this is the most energized and excited I've ever been and it's all because young people are here. We don't have to wait to have these conversations and to offer young people a seat alongside us at the table, but that we should support them our now. I want adults to know who are making decisions about after school programs that each student can be a leader in their own way. It's so important to uh, let young people know that we heard them and we're going to get behind them and help keep them moving forward and keeping them in the space with one another so they can design with each other. What we want to do, we want to understand what you think is the best way to reach and engage kids, keep them connected so that you guys can create a world that's better for everybody else.